Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with another project share. Uh, I made one more journal and I wanted to share it with you, so welcome. And I'm not sure, I guess I can't seem to stop making these journals for some reason, but I do need to get back into my um, fabrics and laces and doilies and all that. So I'm hoping to feel inspired to make a new uh, doily mini, which I haven't done in quite a long time. So anyway, this is my um, latest journal and it's called Magical Moments. And the images and papers that I used in this journal are from two kits from My Porch Prints on Etsy. And um, they are um, young, I think it's called Young Children. Young Children's Images or something like that. I forgot to write it down. And the other one is from the Wildflower Kit. I just loved these images when I saw them. And, you know, if you've seen any of my other videos that I've been putting up lately, you know I've, like, fallen in love with my Butch Prince digitals. Um, they're just amazing kits. I mean, they have everything that you need in order to make a journal. Um, you really only have to add very little, you know, to them, um, which I try to do because I do want to, you know, make it my own. I don't want to just, you know, glue some things down and call it, you know, a journal. So um, anyway, before I start babbling, I don't know why I am, but this is um, the cover that I made. It's a soft cover. Um, I found some fabric remnants at Joann's, and I just love this. It's so soft. I don't know what the um, what the material is or the fabric is, but um, it's it's fairly thick. But I don't know. I think you might call it upholstery, but I'm not positive. But anyways, I just loved it, and I grabbed it. Um, the remnants table is like the perfect place to find pieces that you can use on your journal covers without spending a lot of money because these types of fabrics are really expensive. I mean, the remnants you get 50% off and I want to say this fabric was like $30 a yard or something. And um, I got it for less than that because I don't think there was quite a yard to it but it was definitely worth what I paid for it. But anyways, um, this is the image I chose from, um, from that one kit, and the kit's fairly new of the, um, the children's images. And then Magical Moments is one of her uh, word kits. I don't know if you call it a kit. It's it's one page, but um, there's so many different words that you can use to make up titles. And then this doily here was from Marianne, Marianne and Doug on um, on YouTube, and it's just gorgeous. I I think when I um, I don't think I made a video of just the cover. I think. I just put it in a couple of Facebook groups and I kept saying, man, I wish I had bought more of these. Um, but I do have it in a buttery, not yellow, but a, a buttery color. Uh, and I thought it was different, but it isn't. It's the same one. So I'm happy about that. So I do have another one. And then I just used um, some lavender seam binding I had. It was the one piece. Somebody probably sent something to me and use this to, you know, tie it together. And so I thought I would use it again. And I love how frayed it is. 
And then I used um, Crafty Me Shop on Facebook. I used um, this flower comes from it. Um, this dango piece here. Um, this flower center piece here. And then these flowers are from a um, an applique that I cut up. The little roses, the rolled roses are from the shop also. Uh, the doily pieces that I cut up and I put behind are from my stash. And then this um, frame is one of Tim Holtz from a package with all different kinds of frames in there. And so I thought that went perfectly. It fit the image perfectly. Um, yeah. So that's my cover. I left the back just, I didn't want to cover up any more than of this um, doily piece than I had to. And then on the bottom, this piece here is also Crafty Me Shop. I don't know if you can see, it's a green greenish color and I don't know what shade of green. I'm not even gonna try to um, guess at it. So let's open it up. And then on the inside, I wanted to cover the rough edges of the fabric. So I added this trim here all along. And then this is the same trim as the front, only it's in a, like a, uh, like a taupey, a light taupey grayish color. Whoops, there you go. And I wanted it to just kind of fill out down the bottom. And it's a one signature journal. And as I said, um, all the papers and images in, in this are from my porch prints. And I put a link to all the, you know, um, to the Etsy shop, I put a an link to Crafty Me Shop on Facebook, and then my featured channels that I um, always put in there. So this is the first page, and I added a um, crochet trim to it. And then here's a page for journaling. And then I did a little stamping on this, and it showed on the back, but that's. I think that's okay. And then um, some of the pages I just collaged a little bit. I don't know if you call that collage, but um, I added this vintage piece here that I cut out. Uh, I have a piece of this that has probably tons of these and I just cut that out individually. And look at that adorable image. It's just so cute. And then I did some stamping and um, I wasn't careful with taking the ink off the edges, but I mean, I think it's okay. I think it just adds to the vintage, you know, feel of, of the book. And this is also a journal. It can be journal page or a photo page. Um, and this is from the wild fire, uh, wild flower. Kit. And then here's another little page. I did a little stamping. I added this doily piece. And look at how beautiful she is. She's just so cute. And then here's um, just a book page. Here's a blank page to do what you will with it. And I just added this piece here that I um, kind of scrunched up. And I got that idea from Lori, Girl on the Ridge. And then this one, look at how cute. Good night, little girl, good night. And then this is another book page. I did leave a few blank pages of coffee dyed paper. And then this is another book page. This is um, a coffee dyed um, paper doily. And I got some of these from Paula. She did an amazing job on coffee dyeing, nice and dark. And then here's another 
collage type page and I did some more stamping. And then here's another um, oh my gosh, <laughs> journaling page. I can't even think right now. Here's a little pocket. There's a little envelope. This is from Wild um, Flowers and I have to put something in there. My fingers are slow today too, so you'll have to bear with me. And I just did a little bit on the back here. Here's another stamp. Another wild uh, flower piece. I just love these papers. And then here's some, another stamp. Here's a, um, a tuck and some more journaling pages, um, journaling ephemera. I did, a, I had a lot of um, photo and journaling pieces in here. And you can do whatever you want, you want with them really. And then here's another um, pocket uh, glassine bag. And I kept the, um, the flap on the other side just to give it a little more interest. And then I added a couple of journaling cards in here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and here's another page with a piece of an applique. <coughs> Some more little stamping and journal page. And then this is the middle of the book. I just love these images and I did more stamping. <clears throat> Another applique. Here's the other half of that. And again, I left the flap out. This is a larger envelope. I added some more. I have to finish this tag. And I added a strip of um, this vintage rim, uh, ribbon. And I got that from Crafty Me Shop. Some ledger paper. More room for photos. Here's a pocket page with some more ephemera. And this actually might be from another one of um, Stephanie's kits. Yeah, I think it is. And then here's another little piece that I put on there. Some more stamping. And I just love that. I'd like to be like Grandma. <laughs> and I love how these kits, you can use them for different, whoops, okay. you can use them for different um, journals, mix and match. And then here's the other half of um, this one. And look at that image. It's so adorable. Here's another envelope. And I've got to add, I have to add something in that. Journaling, here's the other half of that paper doily. Some more stamping. Another collage page. Here's another piece of that ribbon. I added a couple of pieces from another trim. <clears throat> Little folks and some more stamping. Sorry, my allergies are bad this morning. And some more stamping. No, no. A um, 
little flower trim, vintage flower trim. And there's the last of the journaling. And, and this is also part of that kit with the um, images. So that's it. Um, that's my latest journal. If you'd like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. That doesn't belong there. And um, <clears throat> I'm hoping to start that doily book within the next day or so. As soon as I think of um, a theme that I want to do. All right, so I'm going to say um, goodbye before I totally lose my voice here. And I will um, be back soon, hopefully with another project share. So I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>